Hello again, this is PC Delta Link, back with our Enigmatica 2 Let's Play Normal Mode, and this is episode 52. Alright, we had done a ton of work in our Thaumonomicon last time we played, and uh, you can see the floor is kind of a mess right now. I've got all my jars of Essentia currently, my water jars just kind of sitting here on the floor, because we're going to plan to fill a lot of these in this episode. Not fill them full, but just get more in them so that we have more for whatever infusion we need. Um, I said I was going to do a lot of research in between episodes, and I have. If you come to our knowledge tools, you see we have a lot of theories now. i got three Golemancy, seven Infusion, six Artifice, six Alchemy, five Aromancy, and two Fundamentals. Fundamentals is really hard to get and takes forever, unfortunately. Um, and I still need... I kind of looked at all the available research that we have access to right now and we technically need two more but we're out of paper <laughs> um yeah we're i have like one sheet of paper there i got nine more here and our sugar cane is growing very slowly i'm considering making a full farm of it but yeah we're just out of paper right now and we have enough theories we can get a lot of work done still you can see i added another chest here because i decided to put all the vise crystals in their own chest over here because these were just taking up so much room and we were getting so many of them, it was just, it made more sense just to put them to the side somewhere else. And then, you know, we have our Essentia in here, and did I not take that? Oh, I didn't take it. We have our Jars of Essentia in here, and our Warded Jars, the Boots of the Traveler we made, our Casting Gauntlet, and these uh, different objects here, the Coal, Glowstone, Bones, all that, this is stuff I'm planning to burn in our Essentia Smeltery to help fill up some of these jars. No, these are not staying here. They'll eventually be positioned around the infusion altar, but not yet. We still got some stuff to do first. Okay. Also, something I didn't mention last time is if you all noticed, um, my keyboard sounds different now. Whoop. Like I can... And that's because I got a new keyboard. Um, my uh, backspace key on the old keyboard I had was starting to become a little bit of an overachiever. It was backspacing multiple keys at once. And I'd put up with it for about a little over a month and I finally got tired of it. So finally ordered a new keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard, just like my old one, because I like the clicking of the keys. So, yeah, so that's why that sounds different if any sharp-eared people had noticed that. Okay, one of the things we're going to try to make first today is we're going to try to get this Thaumium Ascension Smelter, Essentia Smelter, uh, one thing I did not notice last time I looked at this is this requires 250 Vs, which I do not have. Um, if you look, we have 166 available here, and even a 13% discount from our robes is not going to fix that. And what what is it over here? So see, I learned another thing, is the amount of Essentia in each chunk varies. Also, if you notice, there's a lot of flux in this chunk compared to, like, over here, for instance and other places where there's less of it. That's because I accidentally dumped... Yeah, there's much less here. I accidentally dumped way too many items in my Crucible to the point where it was almost overflowing, and I think that released a lot of flux in the air. That's why there's so much flux here compared to the other areas. It's actually slightly less than it was. I think it's... I don't quite know how flux works entirely. I think it dilutes to the surrounding chunks slowly to dissipate, so that's why I'm getting flux out here, even though I've never done anything with flux out here. I think it's just slowly working its way out. So, yeah, that's the thing. So what I realized is since the thermometer, I don't know why the goggles of revealing doesn't show that gauge. I really think it should. So since the thermometer, oh, right, I need my uh, draconic armor for this. I need to be able to fly. So since my thermometer is showing the different amounts of Vs in a chunk, I decided to kind of fly around and see if I could find something that had more on the gauge. And I did find something over here in this big forest that I really didn't know was back here, actually. I didn't really pay attention to it. So if you come here, you notice how much higher up the gauge this is. So we are going to literally put a crafting table here. Take a piece of Salus Mundus, throw it on here, and we'll see how much Vs is in this area. Well, um, game. 
This happens sometimes, and I don't know why. Uh, let me try something to fix it. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Now it says we have 274. Um, all I did to fix this, and I've had to do this once or twice now, is I just saved and quit and then logged back in. That seems to fix that little glitch with Ascension when it happens. So, alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this Thaumium Ascension Smeltery. So we need, we need a couple things for that. We need some Brass Plate, some Thaumium Plate, and this Alchemical Construct, which we have not made before. And this is not too expensive. It's less complicated than it looks, as I found out as I was going through this. So this requires two Essentia Valves, two Essentia Tubes, Great Wood Planks, and four Iron Plate. And you get two of them, so at least you get a little bit extra. Then three Crystals and 75 Vs. So the tubes are actually really cheap. Uh, cheaper than I thought they would be. So it requires Alchemical Brass Nugget, which is made exactly as you'd think. You know, one Alchemical Brass Ingot makes nine. And then this Quicksilver Drop, which we have not used Quicksilver at all yet in this playthrough. But Quicksilver is made from smelting the, I think it's Cinnabar or it's called. Let me, I know I've got a ton of it in our, um, what is up with, why are we, what? What in the world? What the heck game, don't do that to me, that scared the heck out of me. Okay, uh, yeah, here's some Cinnabar Ore. So yeah, if you look at this, you just smelt it down and you get a piece of Quicksilver. And then the Quicksilver drop that this is showing here is basically like the nuggets of Quicksilver. You get nine for just placing one in a crafting table. And some iron plate and some glass. So we actually have enough of this from when we used this earlier, so let's go ahead and grab this. We're also gonna need two levers. So, all right, we are gonna come over to this crafting table, actually. So we got our two levers. And see, this makes our Essentia Valve. It only costs 10 beasts, and actually I'm gonna go grab the robes so we get our proper discounts on this. And here we go. So let's grab both of those. And then it's it's so easy to forget these recipes because we're we go through so many of them so quickly. Um, okay, great wood plank and the four iron. All right. Uh, four iron plate. Great wood plank. We're going to need this in a few minutes. Sorry, let's get this. Just like this. Planks. Iron plate. And there we go. There's our alchemical construct. Two of them. And then another thing we're going to be making is these, what are they called? Auxiliary venting ports. This reduces the amount of flux that our Essentia smelter will output. So that's very important for reducing how much flux you get. It basically converts it into steam. And no, it's not steam you can like use for power. I don't think. I think it just vents it invisibly to the atmosphere. So each one that you place on the smeltery reduces its output of flux. And you can have up to three on there, I think. So I've already crafted two to save some time. You can see them right here, but I'm going to show the last one how to craft it on camera. So, all right, let me take a look at what we need for this, because the nice thing is this also requires an alchemical construct. So we have two. So we can use one for this last one and one for our Thaumium Essentia Smeltery. This requires 150 Vs. It's a little pricey. But it's not too bad, just two Essentia filters, and we've made these before from the gold and the silverwood planks. So we got our Essentia filters right here. Got our brass plate. We're gonna need some more brass plate for the other thing. And then some iron plate. And so let's make that over here if we can. And I already forgot the recipe, I'm sorry. I, you're, there's a, gonna be a lot of flipping back and forth in this book just because there's so many recipes to keep straight. I just can't do it. Okay, got our filters, brass plate, and then the alchemical construct, and I think I need a crystal of some kind. What am I missing? Air crystal. That's not bad. So let's grab an air crystal. There we go. 130 Vs for that. It's a little pricey, but it's not terrible, at least. 
Okay, we are not going to be able to have our discount when we go make the Thaumium Smeltery just because our crafting table is on top of a tree, so I need to go fly to it. Sorry, I think we got everything we need except for the Thaumium plates, which I did take some time between episodes and made some more of a lot of stuff we're using. So as you see, we have 20 Thaumium right here. So, yeah, I did take some time to get extra of that, so we're ready to go on that. I can just make them in this table, and they don't cost anything. Let's get six Thaumium plate, we'll get some more brass plate. That should be all that I need, so let's go ahead and fly on over there. And craft this. Where's our table at? Um... Ah, here it is. <laughs> oh. Okay. So the alchemical construct in the middle, I believe. I think it's like this, and then this, and I believe then you just wrap it around like this. Oh, right, and then two Igni. There we go! So, wow, 300 available here. That's freaking awesome. Um, Thaumium Essentia Smeltery. So, all right, we have a more efficient smeltery now. And we got a quest. That's nice. Okay, so let's run back over here. So now I'm going to place this down here. The reason we're not putting it against the wall is I need space to put these auxiliary venting ports on it, including the back. So these just go on it just like I'm doing right here on each side. And then we got our Alembics, of course, that we're just going to throw on top. Ah, I got to shift click them on there. Ah! <laughs> um, not where I wanted that to go. Okay. There we go. A little bit of fancy jumping. So let me throw my stack of coal back in here. So, all right, this should be not only more efficient now, but it'll produce less flux as well. So, I believe we'll have less time where, like when you convert an item like 10 lux and 5 census, there'll be a greater chance that we'll actually get all 10 and all 5 here. There'll be less chance of losing it to flux, I believe. I believe. Again, this is all kind of new to me. Um, and we have long since passed the point where I know what the heck I'm doing in this pack. <laughs> We're just kind of going through the book as best I understand it. So, all right, I'm going to, like, take a few minutes and go through some of this stuff. Oh, see the steam. You, you saw the steam right there. So, yeah, it's just reducing the chance of getting flux, which is awesome. Because this area is filled with enough flux at the moment. We do not need extra. So, all right, we got lots of census so far. Oh, there's one little bit of flux going up there. So, still... I do like how it audibly outputs the steam so you can see how much more efficient it is on that. And we're still generating census. And do I have a census jar? I don't think I do, actually. Uh, I'm not seeing one. We have all of our current jars out here, except for the Volatus, Modus, and Air, because they're pretty well not needed at the moment. But yeah, I do not have a census jar. So... I, d I think I made a couple more. Yeah, I got a couple more jars here. So let me take a look. Let's get our... Well, do I have a file of census? Uh, da, 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 da. No. And I don't think I have Lux either, do I? No, we're going to get one file of each... Because sometimes these are used in research and you don't consume them, they're just used in it. So it's good to have that available if we need it for the research table. So I'll go ahead and throw those in there. All right, and we'll just pick up the rest of this with our warded jars. That's still going up. That's 100 lux. Holy cow. That's almost half full because these jars hold 250. I think I said that before, but yeah, 250 in the jars. So, and do I have any more labels? Um, I thought I did. Maybe I don't. I do not. All right, well, I can make some with our very scarce supply of paper at this point. Where's our ink sacks? I know they're in here. Here they are. So let me go ahead and we'll just put it in here because I can. And my other crafting table's full at the moment. There we go. Got some blank labels. Sorry, put that down. 
We're still waiting for... Okay, that's full. There we go. Oh, I forgot to get a... Or wait, no, I did get a thing, I think. All right, never mind. We're good. All right, got Lux and Census. Cool. And we're going to move these a little bit out of the way so they're not right in front of me. All right, so I'm going to pause real quick and I'm going to burn through like some of the stuff I have here. The clay, the nether quartz, the eggs. So we're going to burn through some of this off camera so you all don't have to just sit here and watch me do this. And this way we can work on more infusion stuff today, perhaps. I'm not sure what all I'll need, but I just figured I can get some of this stuff ready for that. So see you all in a few. Oh, okay. You can see we've got our jars all arranged around the altar now. Most of them have a lot more in them, usually around 100 to 150, depending on the item. Some of them were just easier to get items for than others. Uh, some like this one I didn't even bother filling yet, but yeah, we could. And our flux in the area is uh, a bit higher now because some of this did turn to flux even with our uh, venting ports on here, but we did the best we could. And overall, we do have a lot more of this stuff ready to go for any infusion we want to do today. So a couple things I want to point out that I learned during this and one thing that I forgot to mention last episode the first thing that I forgot to mention is uh, you can search in NEI for an Essentia type and you can click this one aspect from item and this will actually show you what items give this Essentia and how much of it they give so like block of mana diamond gives 33 precantatio and also 101 whatever that one is, and 101 Disiridium. So it's a way you can search to find items that give a decent amount of the stuff. Uh, the problem you don't want to run into is like getting too much of something else. Like this gives you a crap ton of stuff here, most of which you probably don't need if you're just looking for Precantatio. This one I looked at earlier, and this was hilarious. For a Draconic Energy Core, look how much Potentia that gives. That's 500 Potentia. <laughs> that is absolutely insane when you consider that a jar only holds 250. So yeah, you can use that um, to find different essentials and items. Honestly, I googled it and Reddit has a couple threads showing what items are good for certain aspects of Essentia if you're looking for something specific. And usually they choose simpler items that don't have either a lot of secondary Essentia that you're not after or ingredients that are fairly easy to get so I recommend that but this I don't this is in the game if you want to do it this way so yeah your options are available next thing um, I found out that you can actually take files of Essentia and you can actually take them from the warded jars. I did not know this. I thought you could only get it out of the Alembics with the files, but no, you can get them out of the jars. So, nice thing is that lets you decrease these if you need to, say if you want to fill the jars from here but they're already full. The other thing, actually, let me test something else real quick. Um, let me get that file back. Can I put it back in? You can! So yeah, good to know. So you can take it out and put it back in from here with files. And the other thing you can do with files is when you have a lot, if you're using them for extra storage, like you see I have six Ignis Essentia files right here because our Ignis is completely full, 247. Later, if you need it back, you can actually take the files and burn them in the Essentia smeltery to get the 10 back. Now, of course, it always has a chance to not give you all 10, just like anything else, but it's a way to store bulk extra if you don't want to make more warded jars which at the moment I see no reason to make more than one of each of these for right now anyway so alright with all that done let's get into some research today so there's a couple things I'd like to look at today and I have enough theories I should be able to do just about everything today that I want to so alright looks like I need a piece of bone meal we're going to start with this lamp of growth real quick because I might want this for my sugar cane and my poor paper supply that is really not doing well right now so let me see about this let's see does not cast much light ah oh, it needs herba essentia
Essentia can be fed to the lamp by attaching it directly to an Essentia piping system. The lamp can be turned off by applying a redstone signal. What does it cost to make it? Oh, you have to enchant it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Huh. Instability moderate. Thanks. <laughs> uh, that might be something good to make, though. And Herba is pretty easy to get. Uh, cause, let me take a look here. Cause saplings give 15 of it, and I'm sure there's other sources. Like, let me, let's take a quick look here. Yeah, it's for, uh, let's see. Oh, for a creative one. Uh, giant leaves? What are those? I don't even know what those are. Some from saplings. What about normal tree leaves? Are those in here? Grass, berries, I don't know what the heck those are. Bookcases. If they're in here, they're buried pretty deep. Oh, here we go. So just leaves. So you could just like get a tree farm and just cut leaves or go out with some shears and just shear all the leaves off the trees and just get pure herba in that way too so that's an option okay um we're gonna skip the lamp of fertility for now because that's not what i'm concerned about at the moment let's see your vista's does not plow blah blah that's not something i'm really interested in right now we got enough power we don't need beasts let's look at mirror magic um i think this is a fast travel system it talks about using mirrors to link physical locations in the world so yeah, I think this is fast trail, so let's get a piece of mirrored glass and an ender pearl. We already have some of this made, so I'll go and show the recipe. It's just a piece of quicksilver, uh, aqua and ordo crystal, 50 vis, and a, any glass pane. See, so yeah, I've already got two of those set aside here, so let's grab that. Let's grab an ender pearl uh, somewhere. Ender pearl, there we go. Jeez, I need some more of those. So let's complete that. Uh, blah blah act as doorways between the worlds anything shoved or piped through one mirror pass through the stranger and emerge from the other Ooh, even across dimensional boundaries that's pretty freaking cool oh you can't use it to transport living entities like yourself link a pair of these mirrors you need to place one of them in the desired location right click a second mirror on the one you placed let's see so it's basically like a quantum entangle porter. That's kind of cool. Okay, it can only be linked in pairs, so it does have a limit. Oh, transporting items stresses the magical aura every now and again. This causes flux to be generated. The more items you transport, the more flux. Okay, so not a great long-term solution there. Um, not too expensive. Pretty simple, but okay, so it does have some limitations. Magical hand mirror. Ooh, that's a theory. I'm not sure I want to use that yet. Interacting with mirrors that I can carry. Let's see. Essentia mirrors. Okay, Transentia over long distance. That seems more useful. Okay. Oh, another thing we found. Um, we got this crystal farming thing. And I don't know what it does. Um, I'd left it for later, but let's grab one of each crystal and take a look real quick. So we'll just get... Terra, Aqua, Perdito, Ordo. That should be all of it, right? Yes? Yeah, let's complete that. Let's see here. Found a way to reinvigorate these crystals in such a way that I can replant them. So this would let you grow crystals, which is pretty freaking awesome, actually. Why would you want a flux crystal? Someone tell me that. Entropy crystal... So it takes a little bit of work to get this, it looks like. Um, hmm. And a little bit of essence, but nothing too terrible. That might be something to play around with later on. Okay, is there anything in Oromancy I wanted to do? Ooh, Vis battery. What is this? Natural Vis crystals, blah, blah, blah. Absorb Vis when the R is high and discharge it, but this is processed quite slow. I should be able to create a Vs battery of my own. This only requires observations. Let's finish it. 
Interesting. Well, it is quicker and a lot more reliable. It's time to react. Only store 10 points. Ugh. What does it cost to make it? Oh, that's not too bad. Um, okay, so it's basically sort of like V storage. So it can hold extra V. So, like, if you need more in your area for crafting or whatever. So that's kind of cool. Uh, advanced foci, I'm not concerned with that right now. Ooh, that's two Oromancy Theorists. Let's move on from that for now. Uh, Everfull Earn is something I've been looking at for a long time, but I might wait on that for now. Let's go back to our infusion tree here. Let's see, improve the function of the infusion altar. Let me look at this, infusion boosting. Found a way to improve infusion altars under one or more of the... So you can put it under pillars. Decrease infusion cost, but a slight reduction in operating speed. Uh, what does it cost to... Holy crap! 500 Vs? <laughs> Where the frig am I gonna find that much in the world? Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's a project for between episodes. Holy cow! And the speed stone is much the same. Hmm. They don't need to be balanced. Well, that's good, at least. Okay, what about this? Let's go ahead and get this headband of curiosity. I found a way to extract fragments of knowledge from experience orbs. These parcels of knowledge are blah, blah, blah. Useful snippets of insight. This sounds useful to wear. Oh, these are some high cost things we're getting here. Look at the Cognito and the Void, or Vacuous, and Vinculum. Man. What's this one? Uh, poisons, let's not do that one for now. Uh, let's look at Elemental Tools. That requires, oh, this requires Thaumium items. Okay, we'll have to wait on that until we get some Thaumium gear. What about Thaumium... How many infusion? Okay, I got four theories left on that one. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and complete this fortress armor. So, Thaumium. So, it uses Thaumium itself. That's not terribly expensive. Um, the armor looks pretty cool, I will say. Okay, and what about this? Design the faceplate used by it to be removable. Might be able to create specially enchanted faceplates. Okay, I don't want to use a theory on this right now, though, so I will leave that for the moment. Um, I do need the tools. Infusion enchantment. Runic shielding. Interesting. Okay. Let's check our golemancy tree. We do have a couple things done here. Um, this I just had... I placed down a block of brass, alchemical brass, and scanned it with the... Uh, Thaumometer. Ooh, Thaumium. Um, okay, we must have examined Thaumium, too, so let's go ahead and complete that. Alright, brain in a jar. Examine something brainy. All I had to do for that is I used the Thaumometer with a zombie brain in a chest. So that wasn't too bad, either. So let me go ahead and grab a zombie brain and have it in my inventory to complete that. So what does this do? That sounded creepy. Retains some of the hunger possessed, blah blah blah. Still enjoys eating. Interesting. Not sure quite what that does, but still, something to look into. This is more gain into Golemancy, which I will go ahead and let's see. What's our... We have four artifice and two golemancy theories, so let's go ahead and complete this. And we just got some stuff completed that I'm not sure how we got it completed, but hey, we got it. <laughs> Golem press. So this is how to create golems, it looks like. Golems are used for, as far as my knowledge, oh my gosh, this tree just opened up. Holy cow. Um, golems are used for, like, mundane automated stuff, like you can tell them to harvest crops, I think, and some other things like that, so... 
I'm not 100% sure all of what this entails or all of what you can get from this. We're definitely going to need some more. Not sure how I got this unless... Hmm. There's a ton of stuff here. Golem Mobility Climbing. Fermented Spider Eye. Okay. A lot of stuff in here. Um, oh yeah, I was going to run over here to the Thalmic Tinker Tree real quick just to complete this. This just needs a piece of Nether Quartz. I'm just trying to get as much research done as possible to unlock as much of the Thalmanomicon as possible. Um... Does it not complete? What the heck? This is strange. What is going on? Why is it not completing correctly? That's really weird. Makes me slightly nervous, too. Um, automated crossbow. That's for auto-crafting. What does this take? A uh, Golomancy Theory, which I'd really rather not use here. Huh. Hmm. Okay, transporting, ascension, and advancement. Let's go ahead and complete that one. Okay, see, this works properly. I'm not sure quite what these do, but hey, the more of this book we get done, the better. That's still missing some research. Okay, nothing new here. Man, that tree really opened up. Okay, is there anything else? That takes a fundamental man. Okay, um, we're a little over our time limits, so I'm probably going to go ahead and end it here, but we have a lot of stuff unlocked. We're probably going to see about getting some of this stuff created in between episodes. Well, set up. I'll go ahead and show the infusion for this. When we get back, um, I will look into getting the Thaumium tools created, because these should just be the same recipes as you're used to for Thaum stuff. So, like, let me look this up. So this should just be, yeah, just like any other tools. So I just need to sit down and make some more Thaumium ingots, so not too bad. So I'll look into doing this in between episodes. That way we can get going more on infusion stuff. Maybe even getting some enchanted thalmium gear, and we'll need a lot of thalmium to do that. But um, anyway, I think that's where I'm going to have to end this episode, because we're already a little over our time limit, and I don't think there's anything I'm going to be able to really do at this point. So... I'm not sure why these aren't completing properly. Um, yeah, I don't know, because they should be in there and aren't. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, so thank you all for watching. You all have a great day, and I will see you next time.